try. Dean, the players st stand united on this one. Yeah, uh, we uh, we took the decision to get together as a board yesterday, and uh, and decision was unanimous. So uh, in terms of that, you don't get much more united. Um, you know, obviously Ross came out yesterday and Rupert sent a release outlining our position on that. But largely, it's, it comes down to belief. We we still feel like we're stronger as five teams, and it hasn't 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 changed since then. Yeah. Um, well, it's, I, I think all of us uh, have believed this should have been simmering on and, and, and with, without much sort of knowledge of what's been going on behind the scenes. So we'd like to see things a little bit more open, um, get some accountability into what's been going on. And also we, as the players, are the, are the people standing to lose the most out of this in terms of, the, the, you know, as it stands, there's a team, either the Rebels or the Force, that people are going to lose their livelihood. So it's important that uh, these guys get some clarity, understand what's going on in their, in their life, what's going to hand, what's what the next year is going to be for them, you know, and also I think importantly for them, contracting time is coming up. You know, these people want to understand where they're going to be, what they're going to be doing, and you know, if, if it's not going to be here when it comes to time in Europe, those contracts are largely done. So, I, I really feel for the guys in the situation. You know, we're lucky here at the Waratahs, but the people at the Rebels and the Force, it's it's a tough situation for them. They have no knowledge about what's going on. Um, yeah, and this is what we're trying to see. We, we still believe that the cause for five teams is the best way forward. Is it kind of compound from a player's point of view, Dean, as time goes on and there just isn't that, there's that lack of information? It does. I mean, certainly in terms of anxiety, it, it doesn't decrease the longer it goes. Um, you know, it, it's a very hard position for people. I mean, <laughs> me personally, I can't talk about it, you know, but, but the, those guys in those situations, you're facing a, a period... Ideally, and when you get contracted, you want to be done by the middle of the year. You want to know where your certainty lies for the next for the next period. And the longer this goes on, the harder it becomes for those people in that situation. Um, you know, also, I just think uh, from from there, and in terms of performance, it's a huge element to have understanding of what's going on and how you go forward from that. So, um, certainly, no no excuses to what's been going on as a collective in terms of uh, performance across all teams. Um, but for those guys in that situation. Anxiety doesn't necessarily help you perform. What would remove that anxiety? You have the meeting, what takes the, away the anxiety altogether? What's the outcome? Yeah, I mean, I, I think it'd be nice in terms of getting a, a full general meeting to get everyone involved, all the stakeholders involved in, in one room and get an understanding of, of, of how the decision-making decision -making process has come about and, uh, and where we stand, currently stand. Uh, I mean, I think all, all anyone hears at the moment is a bit of rumour and innuendo without internally saying what's going to happen and when it's going to happen, more importantly. Um, so that's that, that clarity and that understanding, you know, we've had a complete turn in about this, this decision was originally made on financial terms and here we are potentially facing an occasion where you're looking to spend more money to get essentially similar or less control on what's going on. So it doesn't, you know, making sense of that and giving our, giving our players, giving the, the players in, in Rupa an understanding of, of what's happening and what, what lies in their future. Are you contesting the actual decision to get rid of one side or just the uncertainty and the secrecy behind yeah, it all? It's, it's, it's more we're looking towards getting a greater, greater clarity in terms of what's going on. Um, in, in terms of what's happening with the decision, the decision still remains wholly in terms of in terms of the RU, it's not our decision to make, it's their decision based on what they feel is best and, and in relation to Sanzar going forward. So we can, all we can do is, is try and seek some clarity, some understanding of what's going on. Um, yeah, and, and that, I think all of us would, would love to know a little bit more about that. Michael said the other night that there's no guarantees that an Australian team would be cut. What did you make of those comments? Um, I, it's hard for me to say what Czech meant, but you know, I, I don't know about that. I mean, from our point of view, I think we can only rely on the fact that we, we still believe in all the players from, from a performance point of view for, for, for the Wallabies, what we can give, that we're much stronger as five. The Australian Rugby Union, in terms of what it can offer to, to Super Rugby, what it can offer to international rugby, believes that the more people playing Super Rugby, the better we are positioned to go forward in, in that. And, and we've been out from day one. We're still, we're still saying that that's the best, best position for us to be in both seems both financially at the moment uh, and in terms of performance as well. Do you think it's possible for the AAU to, you know, flex their muscles and maybe stand up to Santa? Or... 
Hard to know. I, I don't understand the politics of Sansa. Um, I'm, we're, we're trying to seek greater clarity on what's going on at the RU and how they, they're finding their decision-making process. But uh, yeah, whether, whether or not this can be reversed in any sense, I don't know, uh, is, is the honest answer. Um, I'd love to think that we could get five Australian teams back to our belief that we feel it's the best position for us to be in. Do you have the belief that the current board can sort this out? Um, um, yeah, I mean, I, I, think I, I think it can. I mean, the, this board can, can do it. It's certainly within their power to, to change and to do whatever they want, to give us clarity. I mean, that's, that's ultimately what we're seeking is, is, a, is a really understanding of, of where we sit in terms of where we sit financially as a game because ultimately it affects all aspects from grassroots to professional sport to, to all aspects of the game are affected by that. Um, and, and I think greatly for us, they can, they can have a real effect on where the players sit at the moment. They can have a real effect on, uh, on, on, the, on, the, on the contracting you know, and, and how people and what, what their futures will be. I mean, this is, this is a really tough period for some people, for some of our players out there, and, and we, want to, we want to get a greater understanding of what lies in that. Would ending the contracting moratorium just go a long way to doing that, like you say here this morning? Um, yeah, ending that would be, would be nice, certainly for the players in that situation. It, it gives them greater certainty of what they can and can't do. Um, but ultimately, any of the contract moratorium will matter less if, it, if the team that you're contracting with is going anyway. Yeah, so, I mean, certainly ending the con contract moratorium would be, would be helpful in allowing uh, you know, players in, in both the Force and the Rebels to know what they can and can't do. And you're seeking more clarity and information. What if the AU say, well, here's why we did it and we won't know till August? You know, what, what's your response then? What do you do then? Well, I think that's a, I think that's a decision to be made at that time. I, I think all we can do is focus on, on, on the issue we had, or the action we took yesterday to get that understanding. Once we gain any sort of understanding from there, the opposition will naturally change when that information comes. Can you influence the timeline at all, or are you beholden to what? Well, I think I think you can uh, influence the timeline in the sense that you can. This general meeting has to be within 21 days. I mean, Cameron's come out and said he'd like to get a meeting of, <coughs> together of certain stakeholders with that time. We'd love to see a full general meeting involving all stakeholders in the next 21 days, and hence why we took that action yesterday. Can you still see an instance where you said your position could change? Could that be from being five to 14, just the criteria and all that? Well, I think our position's pretty, pretty, pretty certain. It's been certain the whole time. It hasn't changed from day one. We believe that, it's, that in terms of, from a player's point of view, Australian rugby is strongest with five seven rugby teams. Can you also elaborate yesterday how it all, how the ball got rolling yesterday? Was this, you know, text or phone calls amongst some of the players? You know, uh, no, we, uh, I mean, like any board, um, so the, the CEO and the, and the chairman called board meeting, and, and we we had a, a conference yesterday to discuss it. It was pretty, um, pretty open and pretty robust discussion, and we all came to a unanimous decision that we want as a board and as as a representative of the players that we wanted to to, um, to take this action. Was there anything in particular that triggered it? I mean, this has been going on for five, six weeks now. Yeah, I mean, I, I think that length of time is probably probably what triggered it, and you know, among you know a whole range of aspects, but probably the, the length of time, and it really, there's not been a lot of new news or anything that's come out in that period of time that can add any relief to the players involved in this situation. So. Um, the timing-wise is important because the longer it goes, the harder it becomes for, for players to, to have options, to have options in their, fa in their favour going forward. Sheck also made a comment, you know, that, 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 you know, that it was in, in players' control, that this certainty was, you know, players had their, you know, control of their own destiny. I mean, is that somewhat of a kick in the guts, you know, given that there are guys who can't, you know, foresee their future down in Melbourne? And yeah, I mean, I don't... I don't think Czech mean, meant that in any form. I don't feel. I don't feel personally it's a kick in the guts. I, th I think that the players have their own control, their own destiny when they they get on a field. Maybe I mean maybe that's what the interpretation he meant there. So necessarily, when you play, you shouldn't be worrying about what's going on off the field when you're playing. We're actually in that moment. So certainly in that sense, we'll take full accountability of what's going on a performance point of view. But off the field, in terms of contracting, it's hard to say that the players do have it all in their hands at the moment. They're very much in terms of. Uh, the AI, AOU's final decision on what they go will ultimately affect the ability of, of 35 players in this country. Just with June being a big month for Australian rugby team, is there a fear at all that it might, you know, what's going on now, if not sorted out relatively quickly, that sort of overshadowed the, the Wallabies? Um, the Test Series? Um, I, I don't think so. I mean, I, I certainly, um, I'd like to think those guys that are involved in a, a Wallaby campaign and Wallabies jersey can put anything aside and represent their country with the pride that it deserves. Uh, therefore, I don't think it should take a shine off, off the test series that it comes. 
you know, the, any moment you get to put, put a test jumper on for whoever it is, is a very special moment, irregardless of what's going on in the background. So for me, it shouldn't take any shine off it. Um, you know, but it would certainly be nice to know what's going on in some form. Do you fear that the decision could get dropped in the middle of a series? How would that affect guys? Um, yeah, it would be interesting, wouldn't it? I mean, certainly the, it's going to affect people, no doubt. But uh, ultimately, the, the, the final decision and when it's done is not in control of, of Rupert or the players. It comes down to, to the RU in that sense. Thanks, Thank you. Thank you. Um, 